On the tropic horizon, we do have now tropical storm Hannah, but as I mentioned earlier, everything has been forecasted. I will say near perfect. The track has been exactly what the models have said. The intensification today was expected by tropical models and the further anticipation of uh, uh, or the further uh, strengthening is uh, still forecasted and has been for the last several days of the storm and we'll likely see this intensifying right up to landfall on Saturday. The structure of it, just that alone, clearly shows you that this is a tropical system. You have down at the surface that circ uh, circulation counterclockwise and then in the upper parts of the atmosphere that uh, clockwise motion allowing for the growth of these storms. So this will continue to intensify right up to the coast of Texas, which is not good news for those folks, although this still does not look to be a major wind event for the folks in Texas, still primarily a rain event just like it's going to be for us, but not nearly as much. If you'll also notice when we colorize the cloud tops, that shows you where the stronger storms are. They're beginning to isolate themselves at least nearer the center. You do have a few isolated spots a bit farther away, but for all intents and purposes, they are now generating themselves near the center, which shows you that this is an intensifying storm. It also means it tends to take all of that moisture and draw it toward the center and away from us. So our rainfall totals may not be quite as high as what we're anticipating at the moment, but we'll get to that in a second. Forecasted track, as I mentioned, has been very accurately forecasted by the tropical models. Again, calling for the Texas coast. It's been anywhere from the Houston area to Corpus Christi. And in fact, the center line has shifted a little bit more south of Corpus, but generally in that area by Saturday as a fairly strong tropical storm. But as I mentioned, rain is still going to be the primary threat. Uh, just another look at the satellite picture of the storm itself, because it does have that very classic feature uh, of the surface circulation and then that outflow allowing for the storm tops to kind of breathe a bit and continue to develop. We are getting some of the kind of broad circulation rainfall move through the area. Luckily, it has been moving. We don't have anything just sitting and so far rainfall totals have not been particularly high across the area. You do have some more rain that has been developing out offshore and these will continue to move through during the overnight period and we'll likely see a bit more during the day tomorrow. There is nothing in the upper atmosphere that is hindering any further development had a big upper low that was causing some wind shear that is gone now. So from here on out, it's just going to continue to develop. One thing that is in favor uh, or uh, in, in a positive note for Texas is the fact that it is a large system, so they usually tend not to rapidly intensify. Steering is still there. Big upper high up to the north that will continue to push the storm toward the Texas coast. Rainfall is going to be our main issue during the day tomorrow and then even lingering into Saturday where we could see our highest totals, obviously three to five inches, one to three perhaps over the next couple of days around the city and some isolated spots could see some higher amounts that may lead to some flooding, but I I don't think that's going to be a widespread concern. We also have the stiff winds coming out of the east at around 15 to 25 miles an hour, which is why water levels along the coast outside of the levee system will be running about one to two feet above high tide. Another quick check of tropical storm, still a tropical storm Gonzalo. No major changes with this. However, we are looking at this to make its way into the Caribbean by this weekend. The hurricane, this will likely be our first hurricane of the season and the forecast still calling for it to weaken once in the Caribbean as it is a more hostile environment and we got a lot of time to watch that one wet for the next couple of days really wet as we head into next week another upper disturbance may bring us quite a bit more rain as we get into Monday.